Did you know that all of the planets except for Earth and Uranus were named after Roman gods and goddesses? Mercury. It's the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the Sun. Mercury is only slightly larger than the Earth's moon. From the surface of Mercury, the Sun would appear more than three times as large as it does when viewed from the Earth, and the sunlight would be as much as seven times brighter. Mercury has no moons. It has a solid surface that is covered with craters. This small planet spins around slowly compared to Earth, so one day lasts a long time. 59 Earth days! But a year on Mercury goes by fast. Because it's the closest planet to the Sun, it doesn't take very long to go all the way around. Only 88 Earth days. If you lived on Mercury, you'd have a birthday every three months. In Greek mythology, Mercury was Hermes, the messenger of the gods. Venus. Even though Venus isn't the closest planet to the sun, it is still the hottest. It's so hot on Venus that metals like lead would be puddles of melted liquid. Venus is similar in size to Earth, just a little smaller. It spins the opposite direction of Earth and most of the planets. Its rotation is very slow. One day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days, but a year is only 225 Earth days. That means a day on Venus is a little longer than a year on Venus. In the late 1970s, a probe discovered that Venus has a tail like a comet and it reaches almost to Earth. In Greek mythology, Venus is Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Earth. Our home planet Earth is a rocky terrestrial planet. We can say that it is a water planet since water covers 70% of the Earth's surface. The name Earth is a Germanic word which simply means the ground. One day on Earth lasts one Earth day, and one year lasts, well, one Earth year, which is 365.25 days. That extra .25 means that every four years we need to add one day to our calendar. In 1999, our moon was found to have a neutral sodium tail like a comet. In Greek mythology, Earth's personification is Gaia, the first generation of primordial deity, the mother goddess and mother of Uranus, Cronus, and other titans. In Roman mythology, she is the goddess Terra. Mars. Mars is a cold desert world. It is half the size of Earth. Mars is sometimes called the red planet. It's red because of rusty iron in the ground. Like Earth, Mars has seasons, polar ice caps, volcanoes, canyons, and weather. One day on Mars lasts 24.6 hours. It is just a little longer than a day on Earth. One year is 687 Earth days. It is almost twice as long as one year on Earth. Mars has two moons. Mars crust has different thicknesses. On one side it is thick, and on the other thin. It looks like Mars went through a tough battle and lost part of its crust. In Greek mythology, Mars is Ares, the god of war. Asteroid Belt Asteroids are sometimes called minor planets that are made of rock, metal, and dust. They have no air. The majority of known asteroids orbit within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The biggest asteroid is called Vesta, and it is about 329 miles or 530 kilometers in diameter. The smallest are less than 33 feet, 10 meters across. Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. It is similar to a star. It has big storms like the Great Red Spot, which has been going on for hundreds of years. Jupiter is a gas giant and doesn't have a solid surface. Jupiter also has rings, but they're too faint to see very well. One day on Jupiter goes by in just 10 hours, and one year on Jupiter is long, the same as 11.8 Earth years. 
Jupiter has 80 confirmed moons. In Greek mythology, Jupiter was regarded as Zeus, who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. Saturn Saturn is a gas giant like Jupiter. It is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. It is the second largest planet in our solar system. It is not the only planet to have rings, but none are as spectacular or as complicated as Saturn's. One day on Saturn goes by in just 10.7 hours. One year on Saturn is the same as 29 Earth years. Saturn has 63 moons, but there are many more that are unconfirmed. In Greek mythology, Saturn was the god Kronos, the king of Titans, god of time. He defeated Uranus and then was himself defeated and exiled from Olympus by Zeus. Uranus Uranus has faint rings. The inner rings are narrow and dark. The outer rings are brightly colored and easy to see. Like Venus, Uranus rotates in the opposite direction as most other planets. And unlike any other planet, Uranus rotates on its side. One day on Uranus lasts a little over 17 hours, and a year is 84 Earth years. It has 27 known moons. In Greek mythology, Uranus is the personification of heaven and the first king of gods. His Roman name is Calus. The astronomers at the time started with the name Calus. He went over to Greek for Uranus and then Latinized Uranus to make Uranus. All that effort to make an appropriate name and it ends up being the most inappropriate name possible. Neptune. Neptune is dark, cold and very windy. It is the last of the planets in our solar system. It is more than 30 times as far from the sun as Earth is. Neptune is very similar to Uranus. Neptune has six rings, but they're very hard to see. One day on Neptune goes by in 16 hours. Neptune has such a long journey around the sun, it takes 165 Earth years to go around once. That's a long year. Neptune has 14 moons. In Greek mythology, Neptune was Poseidon, god of sea and waters. Beyond Neptune, a newer class of smaller worlds called dwarf planets reign, including longtime favorite Pluto. Thousands more planets have been discovered beyond our solar system. Scientists call them exoplanets. Exo meaning outside. So how many objects are there in our solar system? Well, eight planets, five dwarf planets, over 200 moons, Millions of asteroids? Hmm, so it's not that empty after all. Goodbye! Thanks! Bye-bye! Look for different videos.